This week in episode 561, yeah, that's 561, we're off to Costa Rica and Finca de Licho. So this week we're off to Costa Rica and Finca de Licho, and Finca de Licho is a coffee that we've had since 2007 now. Uh, originally bought in a cup of excellence. Um, a cup of excellence is a competition that happens uh, every year in selected countries where up to seven, eight hundred samples are entered into a, um, a local competition um, where they find 60 of the best coffees from that lot. So really a one in 10 chance of making that cut, um, maybe even a little bit higher. And then an international jury is flown in where they will cup the samples. So cupping is, you know, the taste in which you've seen us do on here a few times. Um, and they will find the best coffee of that year. And in 2007, uh, Lee Cho placed, I think he was seventh, but I can't remember exactly. Um, but for me, it was the best coffee in the whole competition. So we went along, bought it. And then since then, we followed up that relationship and carried on buying it. Uh, Finca de Licho is in Central Valley, just on the outskirts of um, San Jose, the capital. It's around about an hour's drive on very nice roads um, in a very nice area. Um, Licho is in the heart of the farm, so that's where the dry mill is, uh, sorry, the wet mill is, where all of the processing happens. They do also have some neighbouring farms, so Angelina is one of them, and there's another one that I can't remember the name of. But the, the family kind of work, live, eat, play together. Um, and I say play together because on Licho, when they won the Cup of Excellence back in 2007, they used that money to build a football pitch. Uh, and it's a football pitch with a clubhouse. Uh, you're gonna see some video on screen now um, of a little tour around this uh, kind of clubhouse and pitch, um, which is right in the, uh, the kind of, the, the view of the wet mill and the drying patios and things like that. Um, one of the brother's sons plays uh, to a fairly decent level in Costa Rica now, um, and all of the family play football, and they're kind of obsessed with it. Um, when we visited them this year, and I say we because me and Roland went, um, we uh, took some beer with us. So uh, Buxton Brewery, who are based in Buxton, funnily enough, um, uh, they uh, created a stout that had got some of their coffee in and actually got an award in a US competition as being uh, the best stout in the world. Um, and there's lots of these competitions, but this was one that he's taken very, very seriously. And um, the guy, we've got some video of the guys drinking the beer, um, and uh, I don't think they're used to drinking 7% stouts, um, but they, they seem to enjoy it anyway. So that is uh, Finca de Licho. Um, why don't we go and see Roland about some daft facts? Time to find the infamous Roland Glue and his daft fact of the week. Come with me, Wobble Cam. We mustn't startle him because he's obviously having a moment to himself. Hello, Roland. How are you? Oh, we startled him. Hello, Steve. Do you have a fact for us this week? I do. Did you know that although it's very common for farms to plant fruit trees among the coffee plants, the Aguileras also plant melons? Melons. Thanks for Roland for his amazing fact as always. Um, we have some coffee to go, so I've been brewing this. Oi, nearly spilling it. I'm gonna go into the cupboard, see what we can find, something random from the back maybe. In my mug cup. What, what could be better than an in my mug mug for in my mug? So we're gonna pour this. So first off, when you smell it, it actually smells quite sweet, um, which is a good sign. And then in the taste, I'm hit with lots of ap apricot. So I was gonna say apricot, I'm not American. Lots of apricot. Um, a little hint of raspberry as well on the end. The mouthfeel is particularly thick, um, kind of thing like syrupy, kind of golden syrup, kind of uh, stickiness to it. Absolutely delicious coffee. 
Thank you for joining me as always. Oh, before we do go, we have to talk about our uh, Instagrammer of the week. Uh, nearly forgot. We nearly got to Life's Too Short. Uh, Sean Elder uh, has very kindly posted in uh, a long black picture on Instagram. The way to get on this is to hashtag your Instagrams with either has been or in my mug. Um, and we will feature you on here um, as soon as we can. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this week's coffee. Uh, do remember, life is too short for bad coffee.